I'm going to do. I'm going to take this corkscrew right here, and I'm going to insert the tip, and just the tip, into my nostril. Yeah, you've heard that before, haven't you? And just like before, it's not going to be just the tip. Now, you see, once I put the tip in there, I'm going to turn the handle, and this whole corkscrew is going to travel through my head, into my lower sinus cavity, down the back of my throat, and out my mouth. So right now, what I'm going to advise you to do is, if you've got a camera, if you've got a camera phone, if you've got a sketch pad, if you've got a goddamn etch sketch get it out and get it ready so that you can record this for posterity and to prove to people you see later on today that you're not lying when you tell them you watched a completely tattooed freak screw himself on stage. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, speaking of the phones and the camera, I want to get my camera, I don't think it's good these guys. We usually do this at the beginning, I, uh, I didn't think of it then, so I'm going to do it right now. Everybody here, smile, you're going on social media. Alright, now, you guys, when you take your photos and videos, and I do want you to take photos and videos, I know some people get uptight about that, I don't. You guys are my PR team. Take those photos, take those videos, post them online, because we're the only ones that can watch them anyway. But I promise you, you will get at least two more likes on every single thing you post and tag the lizard man. Alright, you ready to see the first crew? Yay! Alright, here we go. That's a bit of lube. It's important when it's this big. Now, just so you guys know, when I put this door through my head, I actually have to hyperextend my jaw to give it enough space. That means I won't be able to speak. At that time, Joel Keith is going to serve as my translator so that we can still interact. Here we go. All right, so the thing's entering his nose, you can see it's kind of going right back into his uh, skull there. It goes. It's coming out of the mouth right now. Okay, there it goes. You can clap your leg. Okay, you're going around the head and through the ear hole. Let's see if he can do it. Yeah! 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 Come on, I'm running. <laughs> you guys are great. Everybody wants money, and I know pretty. Alright. Here we go, start the clock. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as I get out of the straight jacket, I'm not just going to perform the escape in front of you, I'm going to explain how it's done. That way, if later on in your life you find yourself in a straight jacket, you'll be able to get out of it. And for some of you, that looks like it's a skill you're probably going to need. Alright, first thing you've got to do is uncross your arm. What you want to do is throw the bottom arm across your body and push the top arm down into the elbow like so. Once you've got your arms across, you work them up your body like a washing machine until you can get this hand over your shoulder. With your hand over your shoulder right here, what you've got to do is push your face down into the space between your elbow and your chest and force it way out. A lot of people think you have to dislocate your arm to get out of the straight jacket. That's not true. It is kind of like being born again, though. <laughs> ah, what was that? One minute. One minute. Death. Ah. <laughs> right? It's easier if I just go to sleep. I'm watching the loose money. doesn't mean we're done with you either. We've got one more act we want to do up here on stage. The Trinity. <sighs> Sandwich, she says. Feisty and 15. It's today. I like it. You're standing up here facing a 50-year-old with a man, 15 years old. That's what I want. I want to live in person. I like it. 
Now, when you get home, listen to whoever, because I don't have to put this on you. All right? But do me one thing, take a step back, we're getting a little, a little bit more room here. Another little step back, because I want to do this right here for these people. Now, this is all clear on what's about to happen, folks. I'm going to take this sword, I'm going to swallow it all the way down to the pit of my stomach. When I get in there, I'm going to double my body over, give you guys all a great picture of the sword down my throat. I'll try and pivot back and forth a little bit so you all get a good shot. Now, when I can't take it anymore, I'm going to pivot towards you, Trini. Now, Trini, when I pivot towards you, you're going to look right at my face. You see you give a little wink, all right? I'm not flirting. That would be wrong. What I'm telling you is to get the sword out of me before I die, all right? At that point, I want you to just pull it out nice and smooth like you told me, all right? Here we go. Yes, very important, like everything else that goes inside me, and like everything that you ever put inside of you. The mic ended it, dude. That was so good. The mic was like, no, you were not telling that joke. All right. Then you give it a couple of licks to help it go down smooth. Here we go. This one's the money shot. Yeah. If that makes you feel a little funny in your downstairs area, don't worry, it's perfectly normal. <laughs> Alright, Trinity, are you ready? Omaha, are you ready? Yay! Let's do it! Watch it. He the sword is now entering his face, down into the throat, slowly and fast, there it goes, all the way! 